Do you know what the most undiagnosed common vector-borne illness is in the USA and Europe? You may be surprised. It's Lyme disease, also called Borreliosis. If you are a hiker, gardener, or live close to the woods or meadows, you need to be especially alert, as this disease leads to a variety of complications. Lyme disease is transmitted by ticks, which feeds on mammals, birds, and reptiles. If these animals are infected with a bacterium called Borrelia, then an infected tick can inject it into the blood of other animals or humans by biting their skin. When Borrelia is in the blood, it is disseminated all over the body. Our first line of defense is to watch for ticks on you and your pet and quickly remove them. Unfortunately, Lyme disease is often diagnosed much later after a person has already developed flu-like symptoms, rash, or swollen areas of the body. If not treated, it can cause arthritis or damage the brain and other organs. Borrelia is very tricky and difficult to eliminate because it has many ways to survive in the body and resists our immune system, nutrient deprivation, or even antibiotic treatments. Feeling threatened by these factors converts it from the spiral-looking form to the latent rounded form. In more extreme hostile conditions, these bacteria will aggregate and cover themselves in an extracellular substance that becomes a highly difficult to penetrate structure called biofilm. Many patients think that treatment with antibiotics will help them to recover completely. Unfortunately, in many, the disease reoccurs shortly after withdrawing the antibiotics and the bacteria resistance appears. There are no known effective natural non-toxic treatments to Lyme diseases, although many desperate patients look for them. The cellular health approach, developed at the Dr. Rath Institute, has been based on specifically selected micronutrients, working in a synergistic way which can simultaneously target bacteria and their pathological effects. This direction opens up a new possibility for safe and effective control of Lyme disease, bringing hope for millions of patients.